Welcome to Time and Space. To continue with our astrologic discussions, we have come to the summer solstice time. And this is a critical time in terms of the cardinal cross of life. <clears throat> This is a time when the Cancer Capricorn polarity comes into play very powerfully. It's the time of the longest day. So in terms of solar energy, it's very powerful. It's also the time when the sun appears to stand still before it starts to recede, where days get shorter and night seems to be increasing. Traditionally, the Cancer energy is that energy which is ruled by the Moon. So, past experiences come into focus at this particular time. Family energy comes into focus at this time. All emotional feeling and sentimental energies come into focus at this time. Mother consciousness comes into focus. Nourishing children and concern about children and family and past family karmas. All of this comes into focus at this time. Not to be merely dramatized in or to allow that to use you but for the purpose of attending to business relative to those levels of consciousness. And as discussed earlier in terms of sadhana, that has to be seen in terms of the stuff that needs to be purified and transcended. Detachment has to be exercised in the face of all these karmas as they arise during this period. Remember, the astrologic cycle represents a golden thread. And that's what the zodiac belt represents. It's a golden thread, a continuum, continuity. It's a, a tantric symbol. It's like from A to Z to A. <clears throat> like the figure eight relative to infinity. It's an ongoing process. The graciousness of this phenomena is the recurringness of it all. It comes back to you to purify again, to transcend again and again and again until it's just perfect. And there's only stillness despite all changes because everything's been purified. So we keep going through this annual rehashing of the signs. Most people are totally oblivious to the phases that they can be consciously engaging in to purify. So now we have the first empowerment of emotions to, to work through. A return, now a, a, a deliberate moment to exercise detachment relative to mama consciousness, the family, the womb, and the tomb. One reflects the other. And consider what cancer means. So the fact that the sun stops or appears to stand still because of the movement of the earth relative to the sun at this particular time and space. It's very curious. We should all stop, stand still, and behold the light at this time. We should be holding our breath at this time. In divine remembrance, or in remembrance of the divine. We can look at things now from the point of view of love devotion, instead of just emotional, sentimental attachment, negative karmic emotions and what have you, relative to family, mother, or and one's past. We can look at life now from the point of view of the Divine Mother, all Mother Nature, all of this is implied at this moment. See, Mother Nature, at least in this hemisphere, is in full swing now. Everything's sort of like out and about, getting busier and busier. Things are not just growing anymore, they're showing now. 
So cancer represents, on one level, mass consciousness. It's good to see that. People are born into societal consciousness. It marks the time of the birth of mankind. Being born into the masses. The ordinary consciousness. Which is just an opportunity. Without the ordinary consciousness, there's no possibility of falling out of that into self-consciousness, which is represented by the sign of Leo. The negative Leo, or the lower Leo, or egoic consciousness. That egoic consciousness, that level of lower self-consciousness, is opposed by Aquarius and indicates Aquarius. which is group consciousness. So mass consciousness is the beginning, self-consciousness is the middle, and the end is group consciousness, after which comes real self-consciousness in terms of the transcendental self or the group self, one being many beings. And that relates to the higher aspects of spiritual life, spiritual practice. Aquarius and group consciousness which begins or reflects this time and space in cancer or mass consciousness is what this is moving towards in terms of the process of the path spiritual unfoldment. The egoic self represented by Leo, when surrendered to the sign of Aquarius, which represents group consciousness, is purified by group consciousness, so universal knowledge, and released into the greater self through understanding. <clears throat> and this is what these meditations are about, these considerations of the various angles of the zodiac. That's what is being brought into view now, and this is how we are to consider these times, these points on the wheel of life and death, the twelve points. So remember at this time, for the next month or so, to pay special attention to feelings and emotions as, the, as they arise, as a controlling influence, as a limiting influence, as a conditioning influence. So remember the higher beings, or the initiates, bodhisattvas don't feel and are not controlled by the feeling of ordinary consciousness. So when you are still manipulated by lower feelings and negative feelings and fear feelings, you're still in the bowels of practice. And that has to be purified and you have to release your lower attachment or negative attachment to those karmas and circumstances which reinforces and perpetuates the fear, the emotional contraction which we call fear during this particular time. Purify it. Recognize it first. Purify it. Tolerate it. And transcend it. Hinam.